A proposal to expand an area around State Street in Madison where new bars cannot open is moving quickly through city committees. New at 10, Andrew America explains why the proposal's sponsors think it's been so well received. George and Amber, the proposal has passed unanimously through three city committees in less than 24 hours. The Alcohol License Review Committee, the Public Safety Review Committee, and tonight, the Downtown Coordinating Committee. The proposal would expand the current four-block radius in downtown Madison where new bars or liquor stores can't open. Alders say Madison police have spent extra resources to combat crime near the bars at closing time. New restaurants are exempt from the ban and existing businesses would be grandfathered in if they're resold. Alder Mike Verveer, who's sponsoring the proposal, is confident the new ban zeroes in on the problem areas without being overbearing on the community, which is why he believes it's passed so quickly through city committees. Yes, I'm very optimistic. So unlike when we were at this uh, five years ago and ten years ago, proposing different geographic areas, uh, and then concern only a few years ago when former Mayor Soglin wished to include restaurants in the law, we, at this point, I think have found a happy medium, a sweet spot, where there seems to be no discernible concern. City officials said at tonight's meeting that there have been zero requests in the last year for new bars or liquor stores in that expansion area and only one request that was in the area already under the ban. The proposal will go before the Madison Plan Commission December 9th. If passed, it will then go before the Common Council January 7th.